Welcome students, parents, friends, and families to the Sheldon Academy of Innovative Learning 8th grade virtual promotion ceremony for the class of 2020. I am Robin Stewart, the principal. I'd also like to mention some of our esteemed staff members who have made the success of this amazing group of scholars possible. Our assistant principal, Mrs. Lisa Lewis, the eighth grade teachers, Mrs. Gail DeBow Young, Ms. Cassandra Glover, and Mr. Daniel Garcia. You may notice that I'm not at school. I'm here in my backyard, sheltering in place. You might see my cat walk by. As we begin the 2020 promotion ceremony for our sixth class of eighth graders here at Sheldon Academy of Innovative Learning, I think back to when I first met most of you when you were in third grade. It was my first year as principal at Sheldon, and you were all shorter than me then, and that's no longer the case. Knowing you for this long has been a true gift. So, like I have told you year after year, sit up straight and show the world what you're made of. During this time we have had together, I have enjoyed knowing who you are. Your dreams for the future back in third grade may have changed by now. And that happens as we grow into the people we are meant to be. You may have once aspired to become the mayor of Fairfield. While that may not be exactly what your goal is now, I can tell you that the leadership you have shown makes me know it has always been within your reach. This place where we have all been together, Sheldon Academy, is not a building, nor is it just an address. It is a group of individuals who give it character and life, and you have been a big part of that. You have made Sheldon the amazing place it is because of the caliber of your character. You may have been that quiet individual who doesn't get into trouble or cause problems, but when your voice needed to be heard and you made your declaration of wanting to be a leader among a group of peers unwilling to speak out, you rose to the occasion and made me very proud. You may be the person who came here without any knowledge of English back in the early grades and worked very hard to learn it even when it wasn't easy being here. And because you did, the sacrifices your family made for you make complete sense. You may be the person who, no matter what, would be there for your family when they needed you most, even when you needed support yourself. You may be the person who struggled to believe in yourself and never really knew how capable and amazing you were until this year, and finally you let your light shine for all to see. You may be the person who came to me to advocate for your peers to get the equipment needed to properly DJ the dance. That made me very proud. These are just some of the stories I remember about you. There are many more that make up my memories of you who built Sheldon into what it is today. You are all why I came to school each day. You will always be in my heart. And as much as you have grown taller than me over these years, you have also grown as individuals. As a group, you have risen to challenges that many may never experience. You have conquered fears, built strong bonds, and collectively worked to change the world. I am so proud of who you all are and extremely hopeful for your bright futures. You are a cut above the rest, and I know you will make a great difference in this world. Your promoting class will go down in history as the one when we all quarantined. I know this seems like a hardship, and it is, but what I can tell you from history is that those who rise to meet circumstances like the ones we are facing now will be among the wiser and more capable individuals of the future. You will be able to draw strength from the knowledge that when faced with adversity, you will make it through and rise out of it with grace. With that grace, you can take part in rebuilding a better world in which you can thrive. My expectation for all of you has always been that exactly, to change the world for the better. Thinking about changing the entire world can be a bit overwhelming, but the truth is every choice you make, every action you take changes the world. J.K. Rowling once wrote, and I quote, We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. So, with your imagination, please see a better outcome for our planet. See equality for all. See peace where conflict might have once been. Hear kindness in your words. 
and hold on to the knowledge that your actions and your choices are how you will change the world. I didn't know that this would be the year that I would retire when I first met all of you. I did know that we were all on our great journey together that would take us to where we need to be. Today is the day when our paths diverge. You will be on your way to high school and I will come to the end of my path as a principal. It has been my honor and privilege to be with you these years and watch you grow into outstanding individuals who aren't afraid of effort and responsibility. I know that the work you have done to get where you are now may have seemed difficult, but it has made you strong enough to meet the new challenges ahead of you in high school. Four years is much shorter than you think. It will go by quickly, so make each day a choice for yourself as a student and a human being to make your experience the best. High school is meant to get you where you want to go as an adult. Be the very best person you can be and all the rest will fall into place. So go forth, take high school on with the heart of a champion. Have an inspired mind to be creative, solve world problems and achieve greatness. Whatever challenges you face, know that you already have within you what it takes to face it and that kindness, respect, peace and gratitude will create happiness in your life. I wish you all the very best in your adventure into high school and into the rest of your lives. Congratulations on this day of your promotion. Thank you. Hello, I'm Miss Glover and this is my teaching partner. Mrs. Young. And we're here to present our eighth grade superlatives. Normally each year we give these out in person during the ceremony, but obviously things are a bit different. Um, we're gonna be giving out two awards um, and four awards total, but two categories, one and a winner from each homeroom in both categories. Um, the first award we are gonna give out is what equivalates to our eighth grade citizenship award. And we often look for kids who go above and beyond. They're very caring, they help others. And they're just, when you think of them, you just think of an all around, just like outstanding citizen, right? Citizenship award. So I'm going to present my award first and Miss Young will follow from my homeroom. Our winner is Andrea Rodriguez Ceja. Andrea is the embodiment of kindness. She has been so involved in our school. She worked in Ms. Barone's class this year, helping youngsters read. And she even worked with um, Ms. Veronica, our ELD, uh, one of our ELD teachers. And she helped kids learn um, English and practice their words in English. Andrea has always been a great friend and she's very kind and she is very deserving of this award. So congratulations, Andrea. Congratulations, Andrea. Uh, in my class, ta-da, I would like to give the award to Everson Reyes Rivas, who of course is amazing every single day. And so I wanna give it to Everson for a multitude of reasons, starting with the fact that he's kind, obviously very polite, very respectful, but not just of the teachers in his life, but also of all the people that are around him. So Everson is always willing to help. He's always kind to others, even when others have not always necessarily been kind to him. He's never uh, reciprocated. He's always been uh, consistently kind. And so I think this is something that stands out with him and is something that we all need to emulate. So seeing Everson every day I think allows all of us to have a view of what kind of person we can really aspire to be. And that's an amazing human being. So congratulations, Everson, you definitely deserve it. Congratulations, Everson. So for our second award, we are giving out our Academic Excellent Award. And these go to students who, they don't always necessarily have straight A's, but they're students who work hard and get in all their work on time. They're dedicated to their education and they really just give it their all. So I'm gonna present my award first and my award is going to Brandon Acosta Castro. And Brandon is, you know, you see Brandon and he's so involved. He loves to play soccer. Um, he has a great group of friends, but 
he, as much effort as he gives to soccer and his friends, he gives it to education tenfold. Brandon was accepted to our early college high school program this year. Um, he'll be attending college at Solano in the fall. Fingers crossed, just, you know, Corona. Um, and even though we left for distance learning, Brandon has not ever hesitated to get help, ask questions and turn his work in. He's maintained a 4.0 all year and it isn't necessarily because you know he found things easy it was because he worked so hard so congratulations brandon you really deserve this congratulations brandon you do deserve it so i want to uh follow up with um introducing the award recipient from my classroom and that will be alicia espinoza ramirez an amazing girl what can i say so she definitely deserves it. Um, just like Brandon, uh, Alicia has worked hard this entire year. She turns in top quality work consistently. And if she feels like it isn't top quality, she redoes it on her own. Um, during distance learning, Alicia did not miss one assignment. Turned in everything. She's one of the few that did that. Um, she, If she has any questions, she emails me, even when she's trying to extend her learning, especially in history. And I really enjoyed getting emails from her this year when she had an additional question about something we were already working on. So one thing I've noticed about Alicia is that she's kind of a, she likes to absorb all kinds of knowledge around her. She's an amazing girl. She also is going to our early college program. So she and Brandon will be going together and they both will make excellent citizens and students at that school because they're both amazing kids. So congratulations to both of you, to Brandon and to Alicia. You are exemplary. So nicely done. Congratulations, guys. You all earned these. Um, we're so proud of you, and we can't wait to see the amazing things you do. Bye, guys. Dear 8th grade promoting class of 2019-2020 and their families, first and foremost, I want to congratulate you all on making it to this day. This year has been interesting to say the least, but here you are. You were done with eighth grade and on your way to high school. For those of you joining us today who are not familiar with me, I am Cassandra Glover or Miss G. I'm one third of our eighth grade team. Along with Mrs. Young and Mr. Garcia, we work hard every year to transform our incoming eighth graders into students ready for high school in just nine short months. It is never easy, but I can tell you that it is one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had. Watching these students grow both personally and academically is like truly watching magic happen right before your eyes. And this could not be more true for the promoting class of 2019-2020. After having what could be called a very rough school year last year, we were all apprehensive about what this school year had in store for us. On the first day of school, I would be lying if I said we weren't a tad bit jaded by the year prior. I can remember all of the students sitting in their desks, staring at me, silent. Believe me, there's nothing more nerve wracking than 34 silent teenagers staring at you. I was so nervous, but of course I couldn't let them know this. It's always a joke in middle school that middle schoolers can smell fear. However, looking back, I had nothing to be nervous about. This is one of the most caring, friendly, respectful, pleasant groups of students that I've ever had. Every single day, they were helped to restore my faith in teaching. This is not to say there weren't hiccups along the road, but I truly believe that this group of students is destined to achieve great things. It is rare that we have a group of students that blend together so seamlessly. Although we do have conflict, the majority of our students actually get along. Normally, we work with the students about how to interact with people we don't necessarily care for, especially in a professional or school setting. This year, it was honestly amazing to watch students float between different groups of friends. They know how to be courteous, respectful, and get through working with their peers. This is a skill that is going to be very valuable in their future. As you move on from Sheldon, we would like you to take with you all of the skills that you've learned here. Whether you have been here for one year or since kindergarten, Sheldon, the students, the staff, and your time spent here has impacted your life in some way. Take what you have learned here and apply it to high school in your future. You truly can do anything you set your mind to. 
I know that this is something you've heard your whole life from hundreds of people, but ladies and gentlemen, it's the truth. You are in control of the path your life takes. Things in life can come along, knock you down, change your path, or influence your decision, but you have control over how you live your life. Go into your future and make it what you want it to be. Live your life making decisions that will make you happy and whole, both in the short term and in the long run. Always ask yourself, is this something that you really want to do? As you embark on your high school career and futures, please remember that you will always have a home here at Sheldon. The principals, the teachers, and the staff are all rooting for you. We are always here to support and help you in any way that we can. In fact, there's nothing a teacher likes more than when a student comes back and tells us what's going on in their lives since we last saw them. We are not only here for you in good times, but we're here for you in the times to support you through struggles. Being your teacher does not stop when you leave our classrooms. We will always be there for you. Come back and see us. Do not be shy to come and ask for help. And above all, remember, there's always a place for you here at Sheldon Academy of Innovative Learning. I'm going to leave you with a quote that hopefully inspires you to go out and live your passion. There's only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. Do not be afraid to fail, stumble, and get back up again. If what you are doing will lead you down a path to a future you are passionate about, it's worth it. Go out and be mayors, politicians, entrepreneurs, doctors, nurses, teachers, athletes, actors, or whatever else you can dream of being. The journey is worth it. It is never going to be easy, but it will be worth it. Go out and live your life knowing that you are the change you wish to see in this world. We will miss you dearly and wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. I'm not going to say goodbye because this is not the end. It is just the beginning. And I look forward to seeing the amazing things you accomplish in your future. Love always, Ms. G. The Matt Garcia Community Leadership Award is presented to a deserving eighth grader who exemplifies the kind of leadership that truly makes a difference in the community. Matt Garcia attended Sheldon many years ago. He grew up and when he was 21 years old, he decided to run for city council. Matt won the election and began working hard to make a difference in her. One night while he was visiting a friend, he was mistaken for someone else and his life was very suddenly ended. From that day forward, his legacy has lived on in the Matt Garcia Foundation. The kind of leadership that Matt Garcia lived by is a standard for which we can all aspire to. This year's recipient of the Matt Garcia Leadership Award goes to an individual who has demonstrated great character, a desire to make Sheldon a better place, and a true leader. He leads by example and unassumingly works to lead others in a positive direction. This year, I am very pleased to present the Matt Garcia Leadership Award to Emery Pitts. Emery has gone above and beyond to be a leader for Sheldon. He has served on the Superintendent's Student Leadership Committee and was instrumental in bringing music to the upper grade dance through his advocacy and determination. His character and moral compass are outstanding. Emory, this award is well-deserved and I congratulate you on receiving the 2020 Matt Garcia Leadership Award. Great job. Hello, everyone. I'm here to say my last goodbye and to wish you guys the best of luck. Although I don't think you're gonna need it because you're all wonderful and I know you're gonna be going places in the world. So uh, I just wanted to let you know that despite all the craziness this year, um, you've all been, um, meant a lot to me in my life and I really appreciated getting to know each and every one of you. And I have the greatest respect for you and I really enjoyed being your teacher. So I thank you for that opportunity. Um, I know you guys um, will do excellent I know high school should probably be a better year than the one we've had this year. I'm hoping that you can take all the positives out of this year and ignore the negatives, as crazy as this year has been in so many ways. Um, I know I brought it up in the past, but um, being a history teacher, I know that you guys not only right now are, are living history, 
um, you're also making history. And so as you go forward, the choices you make are going to be important. And so make the right choices and make sure that your lives are ones about purpose. Um, I know for those of us who do love history, um, you know, the reason why we love it is because it's our story and because it tells, um, tells us who we are and it keeps track of that, but it's ne a never ending story. And so it's still going on. So that's what I mean by you guys making history as well. So please go forward and make history and continue to write it. So the pen has been passed to you. Um, please come back and visit. Please let us know how you're doing. Email us and consider us a resource. So we're always happy to help. So if you have any problems in the future with any, you need any help with any homework, or if you just want to talk, or if you um, just want to check in, we love that. And so we would really appreciate it. All right. I'm gonna be sad for a little while, but that's okay. You guys are great. Um, please smile. Know that uh, that you're deeply cared for by so many people and that we look forward to seeing you again. All right. Hi guys, it's Mr. Garcia. I just wanted uh, to say goodbye to you guys. Unfortunately, we're not able to say goodbye to you guys in person, but uh, I wanted to let you guys know how proud we are of you guys and how much we guys, we're going to miss you guys. Um, for many of you guys, since I am a resource teacher, I've had the privilege of working with, with you guys since you guys were in sixth grade. Um, I have a lot of memories of you guys and you guys are very special. Um, so I just want to wish you guys all a, a great time in high school. Please come and visit um, and hope that you guys are well. Um, congratulations, you guys. And now, the presentation of the 2020 Promoting Class of 8th Graders for Sheldon Academy of Innovative Learning. Brandon Acosta Castro. Gabrielle Aguilar. Daisy Abigail Alanis Silva. Alexis Almanza Batista. Esperanza Alonso. Jeremy Alvarado Aranda. Leilani Alvarado. Michaela Amador Jimenez. Omar Ambriz Gonzalez. Mariano Ambriz. Hassan Malik and Miriam. Brandon Angulo Moat. Isabella Antonio Medina. Brianna Ayala. Melanie Banegas. Jordan Brown. Alan Candelario, Christopher Tafoya Cisneros, Brian Quinn Molinero, Junior Alexander Douglas, Jonathan Duran Calderon, Ariana Garcia Carvajal. Irina Mayayama Concepcion Garcia. Mariela Garcia Torres. Alexis Gonzalez. Emily Guillen Hamas. Wendy Heredia. Jennifer Hernandez Marino. Jorge Hernandez Marino. Randolph Kane Hill Jr. Andrew Kazoo. Daniel Leon. Matthew Madrigal. 
Darnell Jameer Clifton Major Jr. Yetseli Martinez Jalen Mar Roberto Menendez Hernandez Liliana Mora Urbina Luis Morello Jennifer Nava Angel Ortez Lopez Joe Perez Almada Emery Pitts Ruby Ramirez Castillo Sebastiana Ramirez Diaz Alicia Ramirez Espinoza Ariano Ramirez Lopez Everson Reyes Rivas Savannah K. Richardson Fiza Resvi Jesus Robles Andrea Rodriguez Ceja Cesar Rodriguez Ceja Louise Rodriguez Toledo Kimberly Santos Rodriguez Edwin Cecito Pacheco Estrella Silva Cruz Omar Silva Delgado Eunice Alia Solario Deanna Annette Solarzano Julian Soto Judah Teo Jose Topete Jimena Vega Pantoja Angeles Zamora